upshifts are really sharp on this, actually. I'm gonna pop into the manual mode. Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's video, we're gonna be reviewing a 2022 Ford Explorer ST. First and foremost, though, a huge shout out and thank you to the Ed Kenley Ford here in Layton, Utah, for giving me some time with this Explorer ST. Check out their inventory in the description down below. Something that's cool about the Ed Kenley Ford here in Layton is they do not charge any markups over MSRP. It doesn't matter what vehicle it is. So they're definitely the Ford dealership to go to if you wanna get a good deal on a new Ford. And then, as always, on a side note, if you want to save time and money the next time you purchase a car, link to my car buying guide in the description down below. Let's get into the video. So under the hood, we have a turbocharged 3-liter V6. It goes for a 10-speed automatic transmission. Fuel economy is 18 around town and then 24 on the highway with power outputs being 400 horsepower at 5,500 RPMs and then 415 pound-feet of torque at 3,500 RPMs. Let's go over the front end of the Explorer ST. So first off, you guys can see we've got the Explorer badge here, front and center. It's all blacked out. And then coming off to the side, you've got the signature daytime running lights with the LED headlamps. We've got our ST badge right there. We've got the Ford logo in chrome with the camera at the bottom of the Ford logo. And then you can see here with the fog lights, parking sensors here on the front end. And I think this is the first time I've seen an ST in this color. It's pretty cool actually, but there's the front end. Coming around the side here, we've got two 75 millimeter tires wrapped around 21 inch wheels in the front and over in the rear as well. Notice that the wheel is all blacked out, which kind of goes with the sporty theme that the Explorer ST is going after. And then also we've got the red brake calipers, another thing to add to the sportiness of the ST. And then here's a quick look at, well, what you can see of the front suspension. Notice we've got the fender flares here. It has a parking sensor there on the front end. And that kind of connects into the bodywork here on the side. You do have some gloss black trim in there. It also says Explorer at the bottom. Here is your full side view on the ST. And then popping here to the rear, again, black wheel, red brake caliper, the works. So here's our key fob. We have our unlock function, our lock function, remote start, and then the opening here for the hatch. We have a payload capacity of 1,369 pounds and a towing capacity of 5,600 pounds with the Explorer ST. So popping to the rear, you guys will first notice here with these controls. So with the third row, you can raise and lower it uh, automatically, which is awesome. And notice how you can do it all uh, with that. And storage space underneath. Also, I forgot to mention there's a little 12 volt right next to it. And other than that, you can also use like the little seat strap if you want to, to uh, unlatch things, which is also, Funny, um, cause like, look, the headrest, I don't know. I just, I just think it's interesting, the whole setup. But anyways, other than that, that's the rear. When you're done, just press this button here at the top and it'll lower it down. You can also lock it from the rear if you want. Now facing things up with the rest of the rear, you can see we've got the signature Explorer tail lights here. They're in a C shape, ST badge. Got the Explorer badge right there, all blacked out. There's a camera at the bottom. Parking sensors here as well. Got the receiver hitch for that 5,600 pounds of towing capacity. And then yes, we have two exhaust tips on either side. So again, goes with the sporty theme. There you go. Now here is the door panel in the rear of the ST. You can see here with the sunshade. And then notice with all of the stitching and padding down below. And you can see a couple of speakers for the sound system. And I like the door handle. Also, cup holder. Now here are the seats. So notice, uh, again, with the stitching all throughout, and then it's perforated here in the center portion of the seat. We do have this grab handle, which helps out with getting in and out. There's legroom. There's headroom as well. And then you can see the storage pocket here. And then notice with the outlet situation right there. Now, as for the third row, you can fit adults back there. It's more comfortable for kids. Uh, headroom's fine. Just uh, leg rooms, a little bit more on the cramp side of things. They do have a little bit of storage space there on the side though. And also, got these cool armrests. The front we go. Now here is the front door panel. You can see again with all of the padding and stitching throughout and then more speakers for the Bang & Olsen sound system. Quite a few up front. All of our window controls, the mirrors, they do power fold in. They also have blind spot monitoring. And then here's the front seat. So again, notice the stitching. Got our ST logo right here, perforated down the center and look how like just soft that is. You've got your adjustments on the side of the air power, Ford performance. We've got our pedals down below, pretty normal setup. You got the double pull for the hood latch release. 
Light controls right here. Steering wheel is power adjustable. Got paddle shifters there on the back. Let's pop in. So here is the steering wheel. You can see we've got the nice leather trim here at the top and at the bottom, that's smooth, ST logo. Perforated leather here on the sides to get a slightly better grip. Paddle shifters for that 10 speed automatic. This does come with adaptive cruise control and steering assistance. You got your volume controls over here. Voice command controls, controls for the center stack. Turn signal stock, windshield wiper stock, and there's the steering wheel. So we've got this full digital gauge cluster, which I think looks pretty cool. You've got some different menus that you can scroll through to see different bits of info here on the exploring, the, the audio, navigation, all that kind of stuff. Pretty standard uh, setup that you see in, well, you know, most vehicles that have a full digital gauge cluster, but I like the animations overall. Cool thing though is with the drive modes, there's quite a few. So we've got a normal eco, sport, tow haul, and then the other side we have our slippery trail, and then we have our deep snow in sand. And my favorite is sport, because look at the little animation and then it changes takes a second to load up the gauge cluster makes it look a little bit more aggressive a little bit sportier right so yeah pretty cool setup overall now we've got the tablet infotainment system here for the st so first off if we pop it in reverse we do have a backup camera with trajectory lines they do turn with the steering wheel resolution on the camera solid um, one thing that i will knock this for though is that the camera view is very small um, that's kind of a yeah a little bit of a downside but we press the camera button notice that we can pop on with the front camera and it's got parking sensors as well and there's different viewpoints um so yeah i mean it's a great camera system it's just that like on the new f-150 for example with the uh horizontal infotainment screen you can just see so much more as for the rest of the screen response time is great you've got the shortcut bar here at the bottom and i believe that the st comes with yes massaging seats look at that you can drive fast and be in comfort now down below here, we've got our analog controls for like the radio, again, that camera button, parking sensors, dual zone climate controls. We got heated and cooled seats here for the front. And then we have this charging space right here, as you can see, you can cover that up. We've got our dial shifter for the 10 speed automatic, press the M for manual. Got a couple cup holders here, parking brake, auto hold. And then we've got a bunch of stuff happening here. So stability control, hill descent control, parking assistance, auto stop start, drive mode select. And then here's the center console. And yes, the wireless phone charger is in front of the center console. And look at the padding on that. And then look at the material use on the dash. Big glove box. And then it is soft touch here at the top, if you guys are wondering. And then finishing things up here at the very top. Darker colored headliner, no center from this particular one. Sunglass holder though, universal garage door opener, and there you go. So there's a ton of glare, so it's gonna be hard to see the window sticker. Uh, if you guys are wondering, this is a 401A uh, equipment group. And after all options on this particular 2022 ST, Total sticker price is $58,625. Let's see how it drives. Select by visibility before we set off. Here's your visibility of the hood. Both the mirrors with you have blind spot monitoring. And throughout the rest of the rear and let's set off so setting off in the explorer st it's been quite some time since i have uh, driven one of these i feel like i said every single time i review a car but it's because like you know with all the uh, availability issues with vehicles right now it's it's hard to it's hard to get access to cars what are you doing they were trying to figure their life out, I suppose. You know what, it's okay, we'll, we'll accept it for today's video. Um, but first off, I love the steering wheel on the ST. It feels really cool. Um, it's kind of like beefier than a regular Explorer steering wheel. Kind of similar to like what Ford does with like the F-150 versus the F-150 Raptor, right? So yeah, it just, just feels nice in your hands. Um, it's like the perfect size overall. And then aside from that, um, ride quality is really good with this too. I think that is another big plus, it's smooth. It's comfortable. Ventilated seats are coming in clutch. Let's actually get a massage too. You know what? I have had a long day. It took me like two hours to get up here. Let's do uh yeah, relax recovery. Let's do that. Yeah, we're getting a massage right now in our Explorer ST. Um, aside from that, seat comfort's great. Uh, cushioning on the seats is fantastic. They are still uh, supportive, so that's another plus with these seats. And you know, visibility's super solid but look at that black ops by the way that is a good looking truck if you ask me uh, but visibility is great 
get it up and moving a little bit. It's interesting how different this sounds compared to the 3.5. Now this is just the 2.7, but then just like basically bigger. <laughs> That's what the 3.0 is if you guys are wondering. And yes, yeah, it's, it's interesting with the sound. Let's pop it over into the sport mode. Turn signal's pretty quiet actually. Interesting. Ooh, it's sharp with the handling. Yeah, it is sharp. Now I'm gonna go really slow because this person doesn't seem like they know what they're doing when it comes to driving. See, they just like twitched right there. Probably texting and driving. But we don't have anyone behind us. Okay, we're gonna keep up the slow pace here. Just wanna get you guys a good acceleration. Okay. Woohoo! The upshifts are really sharp on this, actually. I'm gonna pop into the manual mode. This reminds me of the Raptor. Hmm. I like that. Yeah, I love the transmission tuning on this. So I'm gonna pop it back into automatic. Um, pop it into normal, cause just kind of see. It's a little bit of wind noise. Ride quality smooth. Yeah, it's a, it's a good highway car. It's a really good highway car. The thing I'm most impressed with is the transmission. This makes me excited, and I'm gonna tell you why this makes me excited, and then we'll sum things up. The reason this makes me excited is the new Ford Bronco Raptor and the new Ford Ranger Raptor have this same engine in them. And if I were a betting man, okay, don't turn like that when you've got a semi-truck with a, jeez. You wait for the semi truck to turn and then you go. Okay. Um, anyways, they could they could have gotten clipped. Um, point that I'm trying to make here is that transmission response is probably going to be the same in the new Bronco Raptor and the new Ranger Raptor. So this gives us like insight into how those vehicles are going to drive, and I can tell you, they are going to be absolutely thrilling. So. Um, that's the reason to watch this review, I suppose, because this is a sneak peek. Because I don't remember the Explorer ST having the transmission respond like that prior to this year. Maybe I'm crazy, maybe I'm wrong, but I don't, I mean, I'm gonna pop back into sport mode. Let me, I wanna play with this a little bit more. It's too off throttle. Yeah, this just, It seems way more responsive than it was before. They had to have changed something. I don't know, they had to have changed something though. Um, but anyways, yeah, great vehicle, fun performance, third row family hauler. And I guess this is a sneak peek to the Bronco Raptor and Range Raptor since they have the same engine and most likely the same transmission tune as this. That's because something's up for our video on this 2022 Ford Explorer ST. Again, a huge shout out and thank you to Ed Kenley Ford here in Layton, Utah for giving me some time with the Explorer. Check out them, turn in the description down below. I'll see all of you in the next video.